Welcome to Gintama 326. Umibozu is in terrible shape. Gintoki is fighting Kamui. Hopefully we can resolve these issues here. Utsuro, I guess, has just gotten away. I don't know if we'll see much more of him in this arc. But Obero, I just don't know where the fuck he went, so I'm still waiting for his, like, suicide attack. But right now we're dealing with Kamui. So let's get into it in 3, 2, 1, play. I think they've shown most of what they want to show in the flashbacks, but we we might still get a bit more. Or maybe a lot more, I don't know. See more of Kamui as a kid. I think we're mostly mostly good with the flashbacks. Give it a shot. I like how, you know, we kind of, we haven't fully just changed Takasugi entirely. They still have their little rivalry, their little, like, when this is over, we're going to kill each other. But, you know, fighting alongside each other for now. I like that... Just because Kamui and him were allied, that didn't affect Kamui too. I was wondering if it would, if we might be done fighting Kamui, because he had his fight with Kagura. And now we're moving on to bigger things, bigger threats. But I kind of like that it took more. It wasn't just like, okay, Takasugi's with them, so Kamui is too, just by proxy. No, it took a lot more, because Kamui's issues are deeply rooted in his childhood so it took uh some resolving that we actually had to take the time to do that with not just his sister but with his father that was important so i'm glad and of course got to finally see kagura's mom so there were clearly things that uh that needed to be addressed there and i'm glad they didn't just push that aside and say well takasugi and him were allied and so they're just still together and it's all good I'm glad they uh, addressed what needed to be. So here we go. Umibozu not looking good. Now these two got to fight. Siblings. Okay, we're in part 10 of this arc. Okay. He's not, uh, ugh, it's hard to get through to him. Not really listening. He's crazy. <laughs> I guess you could say that. Shit. Ow. Kagura. Uh, what, oh, okay. Nice work. Oh, ooh, ooh, the finger. He's got a, he's got a my hero finger. A Deku finger. Ooh. Ugh. It's just got to take this beating. Just like Conway as a kid just kept coming after Hosen. 
Gintoki's not one to give up either, so we got two crazy men fighting once again, just like with Takasugi. <laughs> they just keep going, even here when it's much less even. Although he's, he's, he's doing okay. Not great, but okay. himself That was the first time we've seen Jugim 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 in a million years. I'm waiting for him to come in and be the one to defeat Utsuro by throwing poop at him. His weakness is poop. That would be very appropriate for Gintama's final villain if his weakness was poop. <laughs> or if his power was poop. Hey, he's still coming. Takes a lot to get through to him. He's a stubborn bastard. That was a long time ago. Whoa, okay, there we go. Oh shit, breaking the umbrella tip. Breaking the umbrella apart entirely. Goddamn. Whoa! Shit! Impressive, my boy. Oh, ooh. And yet, can't, uh, you can't deal with all those injuries forever. Ugh. He's, okay, I, like, he's either gonna get back up again, Kagura's gonna step in, and there she is. Oh, fuck. Both, both of those things happened. Whoa! Stewart. Oh my god, what's he doing? What is... What is going on with this man? He has snapped. We're trying to... 
or trying to fix him and he just broke harder. What the hell? <laughs> what just happened? Yeah, I guess he's just gone full uh, Psycho Yato mode. That's no good. We remember that uh, as a great big Kagura moment. So to watch the guy we're fighting do that, that spells trouble. When it's already a big big danger, already Gintoki's real hurt. He could barely get up. Kagura couldn't, couldn't handle him before. It's up to you, Shinpachi. Be the strongest of them all, my boy. Right in there on your noble steed, Sadaharu. Oh shit, he's just gone. He's just gone nuts. <clears throat> Throwing away all all reasoning. Throwing away his own body and getting, oh god, right in the fucking neck. Okay, congratulations on being a shonen main character. So you survived that. <laughs> oh, Abuto. Damn, Abuto's the one who had to deal with her when she was like that. Now he's got to deal with this too. Umibozu's still alive over there? Like, holy shit. The blood loss. But he's, uh, he's, he's good. He's okay, I guess. It's cool, though, now that we saw how they met. How he was some bratty kid who kept coming at him. Okay, Abuto, go, go get him. I'm not going to have him kill Abuto. You never know. Could have done it any time. He gave his own reason, but yeah, that's probably more likely. It's like a good excuse to just finally leave. Uh, yeah, you can't stand up to him like this. You're gonna get a hold of yourself? Maybe? Nah, he's... Yeah. No, he's not gonna do it. Oh, he, he, he would've! Kagura had... God damn! I thought, like, this is the one guy who's always been around for you. And, uh, you gonna fucking... You really gonna kill him? I thought maybe he'd be able to hold back, but they had to stop him. <clears throat> okay, you take him somewhere. <clears throat> So Sadaharu really just got to be the horse. That's a shame. Hopefully he does something later, eventually. But uh, go take him to anybody who can maybe help. He's losing a lot of blood. It's going to stain your white fur. Good job, Shinpachi, too, jumping in there. Also, he doesn't have arms, so be careful. He can't hold on.
Can Gintoki still get up? Everybody's beat to hell. Yeah, that's, that's exactly what he did back then. Oh, God damn it. This guy, he has fought so many. He was fighting his dad and Kagura and Gintoki and Abuto and Shinpachi. He's been fighting so many people. And yeah, like the Umibozu fight got interrupted because he had to deal with Utsuro. So it's not like he beat his dad, but he's just fought so many people. It's been, he's been a problem for so long. Like, my God. And now this is, oh, this is pretty awesome that Shinpachi gets to team up with Kagura against him. That's pretty badass. Gintoki got to have his time. And now the two of them go. That's where she heard about Earth. What I feel like she's gonna die right now. Totally feels like it. Kagura is so cute, it makes it really sad. Oh, she's just gonna die this moment. Oh, they're fools, that's for sure. And she just had to go. Kamui fucked off. Her dad wasn't around. I don't remember if she did die then or if it was when she was a little older. I don't remember if they've specified exactly like how long after Kagura's mom died that she came to Earth. God damn, now it's all of them. It's all three. They're all up together. Perfect. Get them! Jesus! Every time they hit him, he just hits right back. He just, he's, <laughs> you can't stop him. Is that it? Is that enough? Can you settle the fuck down? My god, maybe. Maybe that's enough, finally. Is he still moving? Oh my god! <laughs> Do you need to hit each other anymore? Really? <laughs> Look at them limping towards each other. My god. 
trying to fight that Yato blood. It's got to stop at some point, man. They're gonna punch. Oh, they're gonna punch past each other. Ah. She has a shorter reach. What happened? A hug. A hug. Yeah. Oh no. That's it. Yeah. And you weren't there. Okay, she's not dead yet. Never mind. Fuck. Jesus. <laughs> Koka, Kanko, Kamui, Kagura. The flower. It took uh, the hug and the tears of his baby sister. Gotta give it to Kamui. He took a lot of fucking punches. He fought a lot of damn people. And his goddamn dad. It's fighting Utsuro like that. It's taking that much damage. Basically, doing so, like killing Utsuro, he just got bad luck about the arm thing. Gentoki, Shinpachi, jumping in there that much. Oh, but, oh my god, everybody. Uh, impressive all around. Wow. I got a little teary-eyed. Because I love Kagura, and she's so cute as a little kid, and it's very upsetting. It's very sad. So, but yeah, so that's done. The fighting is done. Where did Obero go? <laughs> He's been gone for like half the arc now. He was like, oh yes, my time is almost up. I'll do, like, one last thing. And then he disappeared for five episodes, so I'm just waiting. He's gonna come in. Like, we're done. Everybody just fought everybody for a long time. Everybody's real bloody, real hurt. Now is not the time to deal with some asshole, but it's gonna happen. He's gonna come in after this whole thing is done and be like, Aha, I've planted bombs all over the area, or some bullshit. And then he's gonna die, and we're gonna have to deal with that, so... Umibozu is the only one who still might die other than that, because he's real, real hurt. But the fact that they took him away, and he lost the other arm, makes me think he'll survive. I don't know how, but, you know, anime. He's real strong. It's whatever. So he'll just, you know, be armless. He'll get mechanical once, I guess. But, yeah. And uh, Abito looks like he'll be okay. It looks like the only death we're going to get is going to be Obero, because that's definitely got to happen. He's got to come back, right? <laughs> But, uh, real good resolution for the rest of them, regardless. Oh, there we go. There we go. There he is, a little piece of shit. All right. So we'll, we'll deal with that next time. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you then.